Right, off on another adventure. We're going to head over to uh, Lock Cairn. All my stuff's packed. Um, got a nice curry for the night. Gabby's got some venison burgers, venison sausages that he's been. Just give it a right good clean. She's looking well. She's looking really well. Give her a good clean the other day. So, yep, another adventure. I'm going to go meet Gary down the garage. I did put a post on Northeast Bushcraft Stroke Adventures on Facebook to see I was going over to, to Lock Cairn. And if any lads with bikes fancy to join us, they were more than welcome. But uh, we are meeting a, a lad up there from Scotland. He's coming down in his van, Hugh. So it'll be good to see him. So, yeah, hope you enjoy this adventure. And uh, see you in a right. bit there. Off we go, start of the start of the journey over to Loch Cairn. Um, like I said there in the little intro, I'm just gonna head off and meet Gary down at the garage. Fuel up, because I'm really low actually. Bloody hell, one bar. So I'm gonna head down there, fuel up, and uh, enjoy this lovely ride over to Loch Cairn. We're gonna hit over the 69, we're gonna crack on over the 69. And then we're going to put in that uh, Kalamoto app. Um, we're going to put into that um, all the twisty roads just to want to get up into Scotland, Dumfries and Galloway way. We'll put in um, all of the twisty roads so it should be a nice ride up. There used to be a fella there called Wavy Jim. Yeah, he, uh, he passed away with cancer, bless him. And. Um, you couldn't get past him without him waving the lollipop man. He was lovely. And they've left the, the community all put in a chipped in and and the um and the and they put a seat there and it's actually on the seat it's got wavy Jim. Really nice old man, lovely, was there for years. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on down the garage. Right, we just uh, there's Gary there, you can see him. Just met up with Gary down at the petrol station. So we're now crossing Bladen Bridge on the A1 and we're going to head over to the 69, crack on over to Carlisle. Once we get onto Carlisle and onto the M6 and then off for the Strand Raw Road, we're going to put it on twisties. Um, and then start enjoying the roads there, but we're going to try and crack on because we need to find a nice pitch to park the night and uh, really enjoy what camp as well it's not just about the ride it's about the overnight camp as well so but got a plenty of time when we get up there to go and find a lovely pitch that's the plan Yep, where the dark areas are, sun can't dry it, mud, horrible, horrible mate. It is that time of year pal and something you've just got to bear in mind isn't it? The leaves are an absolute nightmare as well, wet leaves on the road, not nice if you skid on them. So we're up in Annan now, from the little town called Annan. Nice whiskey distillery here it says. What the hell is that? 
But he hasn't got a license for that, he's dead and all, isn't he on it? What? What is that? Mate, I think he's I think he's been up at that distillery. Yeah? I don't know if I captured that on camera to be fair, like, but it <laughs> he looked mortal. Going right or left here, Gary? It's a lovely thing about when you come off the main roads, the A roads, you can hardly get any traffic, Gary. It's nice. And when I see that national speed limit sign, see ya. Just coming to a place called Sandy Hills now. And uh got the the coast to the left. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it up there. Oh yeah. Ah, there he is mate, isn't it? How do we get into there then Gary? We've been down here before. What in the Land Rovers? We haven't, like, we haven't come anywhere near here. Nah. Need cars coming, Gary, if you want to get past. Still need cars, mate. Car coming now. Yeah. Watch his big spine to be an absolute tool. Overtaken on a bend there, he did. Oh, I made he was on the other side of the road when I Watch that bend there, mate. This is a long one. That goes on for a bit. Nice one. There's no cause, Gary, if you want to get past. Still clear, mate. What a lovely. 
Bloody road. Right, we've tipped up at Loch Ken. Um, we just parked the bikes up there, literally there. Uh, Gary's there, setting his. Um, he's just ground drilling it in his DD Frontline XL. Hugh's just turned up, and I've got mine set up there. Got that top up just in case it rains tonight, so I can pull that over us, and keep us dry. Struggling with the ground, the ground's like all stony. So um he was just coming to tent. And I'm glad you've come because he's brought loads of firewood now, Hugh, haven't you? Oh, it's a supply wagon. It's a supply wagon, aye. It's a <laughs> supply wagon there. Right. There it is. But no, it was good good timing as well, Hugh, wasn't it? Aye, we just tip, tipped up and then we we're just about to say, we'll uh we'll what three words there, uh, Hugh, and he literally just pulled around the corner there. It was perfect timing, so we didn't even need to send him the, the location. He found her. He just looked for two big, horrible, ugly things with motorbikes, uh, and he found her. <laughs> Spot on, but no, a lovely pitch. Look at this. Guys, it's grown dwelling. Ah, oh, brilliant, mate. That's still nice, though, mate. And then. Hughes over there, and is, is it a Van Gogh? Oh, no, it's OEX. Oh, OEX, is it? All right. They're from Go Outdoors, aren't they? Aye. OEXs. But it looks like a Van Gogh. It's what it's sort of mimicking off, I think. Aye. Uh, it's the first time I've tried it. Uh, but it's, it's one of the easy ones. Plenty of space in there, Hugh, isn't there? Aye. It's under my side. Aye. Yeah, it's perfect, isn't it, really? Aye. You even... I love that marketplace, do you? Aye. Get some bargains on it, <laughs> can't you? Aye. I messaged him. He was a young guy, obviously bringing up family and used to do the camping, so mm -hmm. obviously times, times are hard and all that. Aye. So, 50 quid. Oh, mint. Bargain. Aye. Definitely, there'll be 150 and go, go outdoors, are there, Summit? Something like that. Aye. Aye. Uh, you'll be snug in there, mate, especially with a few whiskies down your neck and a few beers. <laughs> <laughs> so, aye, this is my pitch for the night. It's not a bad one at all. I have slept in worse places, I tell you. So, absolutely brilliant. Eh? I've had to give me bed up for Leroy. Michelle, are you listening to that? You heard what he's saying? Do you just get pounded them? You think I will pound <laughs> you couldn't get better than that for a view in the morning. Nah. Got the sun now. Well, we went over the other side, didn't we? We rode the other side. Uh, Ice right. cold on that side. It dropped right. by about five five degrees on the, the bike on the temperature. So it says we'll get the sun side, at least we'll have a bit of sun. But no, mate, it's perfect, isn't it? So it's all about getting out, finding new places. We got to say, Hugh. Say again, Paul. I've just moved them all, I've just put the mass up myself, I need to take some of the next time because I constantly make pegs. Yeah. Be alright, that man. Adapt. Adapt, overcome. overcome. What about these? <laughs> oh, he's got his Sport Z's on. See you, man. There they are. I'm fast You're going to be sponsored by Sport Z's, you. They're going to start sending you loads of Sport yeah. Z stuff. You know, look, I've, oh, run, look. I've, I've run that look. fast, right? I've run that fast. Oh. I, um, <laughs> Just split them. Paul turbos. No. <laughs> turbos. So I call them in a turbo Z. Fast landing then, like now when you're a kid you go, look at how fast I can run that.
starting to turn in dark now lush Me and my wedding day, you follow yourself with the honour of this man. That's what he counts. <laughs> yeah. Says, look at you on your wedding day. Yes, me and my Showing yourself a bit of leg there. Oh, get up there, lad. Me and him served together. He'd done 10 years, I'd done 18 years. Uh, we served on Ireland together. He's now, he's an air hunter. An air hunter, what's that? Somebody goes looking for somebody that's left. He's got left loads and loads of All right, right. yeah, 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 got you. Yeah, yeah. He, he went to Edinburgh University for 10 years, you know, five years. He's a doctor in ancient history and all the rest oh, of it. Oh, brilliant. Just yeah. my wife, yeah. The opened, like. We're having a bit of tweets before tea. Oh, yeah. Tell you what, you're punching, mind you. Aye. You're punching, kid. <laughs> got a nice curry on. It's got the fire on. A uh, bit of wood. Obviously, all this is just, you know, we'll get all rid of all this tomorrow. But we're just having a nice curry. A couple of beers. Looking out uh, over Loch Ken. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. A couple of beers. That's where I'm pitched there, you can see. You see, it's just turning in dark. We've had, a, uh, we've had a lass who come along and just come down with her husband and then went swimming. Doing wild swimming. Oh, wasn't even a scream off her. Straight in. Straight in, and away she went. What's that, that wife? Aye. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, wasn't it? Straight in, not even a... Didn't even hear. <gasps> Nothing? No. Cracking. So, I Gary's already munching the scran already. That's for cheese and crackers later, that walk, kid. I'm just having two slices, kid. I'm trying it. Mm -hmm. Gary's uh, ground dwelling. But now we're just letting the curry just simmer away. Let it cook away, nice and slowly. We'll have that a bit later on. I don't know how much I'm bringing you, like, but I'll try and bring you back for bits and bobs, alright? Got the rice on. Curry's done. We're gonna sit back and enjoy with Scran, aren't we, kid? No one there yet. No one there, kid. Just waiting for that rice to boil over. That's it done. It. And we'll crack that fire on. It's turned cold like and it's gone what? Aye, we ice. It's down, it goes down by two in the morning to three degrees, so we yeah, right. the gear. We'll be fine. All the gear in the idea. Look at that. Look at that. Better places to wake up in the morning. Oh, look at that, man. It's like a mill pond. Mm. Beautiful. This is definitely where it's at. This is definitely where it's at. There we go. We're on it. Chicken curry and rice. And Gary's fucking look at him. Get on, son. He was up there. And he's going to get his plate and come down and join me. Said, don't bring no, bring no, don't bring no fucking bucket down. <laughs> <laughs> get on there. Look at that bad boy. Lock Ken's curry. Lock Ken's curry. That's the one, kid. Lovely. See, we've just sat and cooked and had a bit of chin wag, haven't we? Oh, yeah. Top of being Dean with you. So, it's not much video content, to be fair. But I'll just show you what it is. This is definitely where it's at. Look at that, man. Look at that. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? Doesn't get much better than that. Right, we're probably going to get done for copyright because Gaz has got his uh, rock in the background. Look at him with his bottle of wine. Now he's a changed man, isn't he? <laughs> he's got his bottle of wine, look. It's a wine connoisseur now as well, Gaz. The very best of red wine. There we go. And what else we got, Gaz? Give us a look. Give us well, a look, Gaz. Well, you can come over to me. Uh, cheese board selection. <laughs> I've got um, salami. I've got garlic and herb. And I've got Rockford. Good but, choice. Rockford's a good choice, yes. isn't it? Go on. Quite what? nice with my uh, raw rocker, whatever you want to call it. I can't even say it, man, can he? Uh, he's well, pretending it, he's a wine connoisseur. Right, he went to the court and look, found a bottle of red wine says, and went, I can't. Aye, that's your camp. Well, look, it says aye, camp. camp. Can that's you see it? Aye, camp. Campo? No, that's your camp. <laughs> no, camp O. Suit you, sir. Suit you, sir. <laughs> Go on, son. Is that a red wine, is it? 
Are you not? See, it would be nice with a couple of grapes and all, Gary. Oh, man, what do you... No, we needed some grapes with that, like, I would have just finished it, finished it off, lovely. Listen, next but time, no. maybe, next time, eh? We've had with curry. A little bit of, um... Tune, tune. Tune. Right, we've had with curry, now we're going to have a cheese and crackers. A couple of more beers. Hugh's still here. Ah, oh, I'm still here. Not going anywhere, Hugh. He's got the... What have, what have you got tomorrow, mate, for breakfast? Yes. Square, uh, square sausages. Got to have square haggis. sausage when you come to Scotland. Aye, Got to have haggis when you come to Scotland. Haggis and black pudding. Lovely. Right, you know. <laughs> out the, the butchers, out the Tesco's, out the butchers. <laughs> That's the one, mate. Tell you what, though. You're coming again, like breakfast. Soup. Aye, he's definitely coming again. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, Lovely, mate. On the supply wagon. Anyway, lads, here, cheers. Let's get a cheers in. Cheers. Cheers, you. Cheers, Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Yeah, nice bomb. Good night. Cracking night. Hi. Not a bad place to wake up in the morning, is it? Look at that. Oh, perfect. A nice buzzard in the background waking you up. Perfection. As the boys up, boys have just getting up. I've got my bikes parked just there. <sighs> Hugh, I'm disappointed in you, by the way. No black pudding and bacon and sausage. <laughs> I've got it on video, Hugh. He sat in that we were last night. He ate all the curry. He ate all the cheese and crackers. He says, I'll get up in the morning. I'll make you breakfast. It's now eight o'clock and he still hasn't. I can't even hear the kettle going. I'm a bit of fucking <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Cracking night, cracking night, just a bit of banter around the fire. We got to Barbara, I went to bed at nine o'clock. Um, sat and put a podcast on and went to Kip. I've had an absolutely perfect night's Kip. Perfect. So, I'm gonna get myself up, get packed away, get my breakfast, and head off. Gonna do a little bike ride through. Scotland back home so I shall bring you back but what a lovely pitch this is I'll definitely come back here um, I will say like we did have a, a ranger come down last night and he was a bit bit arsy um, just let them cars pass he really come down with the wrong attitude and he says oh there's going to be fishermen here in the morning fishing at 7 o'clock um, he wanted us to go there and then I says, mate, look, we've had a couple of beers. We're kind of gone anywhere. Um, so you're going to have to go and get the police or whatever. I says, because we can't move. Um, he went, well, I want you to go. D drunk or not, you know, I mean, we weren't drunk at all. We'd only had two cans, but I couldn't ride, ride my bike. There's a zero tolerance in Scotland. Um, no, nah, he, he, was, he was very abrupt, like, he was horrible, actually. So... Uh, he just got told to jog on, to be fair. Um, but yeah, that was the only little problem we had. No ducks coming past. There's a heron flying hour. Buzzard in the background. Lovely. Right, back on my bikes and back over to Newcastle, mate. Eh? The long way around. Yep. Not the long way down, the long way around. Long way around, aye. It's a bit rainy, like we've got rain. Just Hugh, it's been an absolute pleasure again, mate. We'll definitely see you again, mate, because you're up here, aren't we? So when we come up next, aye. we'll aye. come and give you a bellow and uh, do come up and meet. Aye, it's cracking. Uh, oh, it's the bin. Aye. So, aye, that's the end of us here. We're going to. I'll stick some footage now of the. Um, 
of the ride back and maybe it will stop off with guys somewhere we'll probably find somewhere for a dinner we'll do that there's a bin man coming so yeah we'll head off honestly mate it's been an absolute pleasure Hugh See I you enjoyed well, it pal I I enjoyed it good boy. man good man Bye. take care brother right. See you later, mate. right we're just leaving um we're just leaving Loch Cairn there and we're just heading up to Loch Doon we're going to go up to Loch Doon just to have a drive out we've got uh, loads of time before we need to get home so we're going to make the most of it weather's a bit uh, overcast a little bit of rain but we thought bugger it we've got a couple hours spare because we're up early um, and we're just going to head up to Loch Doon now uh, we've seen some council lads and they were saying get yourself a ride up there it's lovely so we thought well why not we've got a few hours spare we'll take a ride up so Gary's just leading the way and uh, Aye, been a canny camp. It's been an absolutely cracking camp. Uh, met up with Hugh, you've seen Hugh in the video there. Nice man from Dumfries. Uh, follows us on YouTube, also on Facebook. And um, he's come up and had an overnight with her. I mean, he actually had a, a camper van, but he chose to sit and camp with us, so it was lovely. And he made breakfast this morning, so that went down a treat. So, yep, yeah, give you some footage of the ride up to Loch Doon and... Uh, We'll see you in a bit when we get up there. Tell you what, what a lovely ride this has been coming up here. From Loch Cairn up to Loch Doon. Here's a question for anyone watching my video. Do you get red deer in Galloway Forest? I don't think you do. Gary thinks you do. But I think it's further up you get the red deer. I'd like to know how far south the red deer come. If anyone knows in the comments, stick a stick a comment down just so we can clear some of it up because I don't think Galloway Forest has red deer. I think they'll have raw, seeker deer, but I don't think they've got red deer. I could be wrong because I think the Clyde and um, where the fourth road bridge is, I think that stops them coming down like, but I could be totally wrong. They're nice to see them and now I went and done the North Coast 500. I've seen loads of red deer on the hills, it was lovely. Aye, we did, Gary, aye, we did. We followed some we were drawn. If you go back in my videos, you'll see that video. It's uh, North Coast 500. It's a good day, that. Good, feel, good, good four days in the Land Rovers, yeah. Turn and left, mate, our Up in the Galloway Forest, Loch Doon. Well, two and a half mile of Loch Doon, kid. Bloody hell, that hasn't took long, mate, has it? Eh? Uh, beautiful road, that was. This looks a bit uh, sketchy like. Oh, we're up in the forest. Is this Galloway Forest then, is it? Bells, Bells Bank Forest. Lovely, mate, lovely. Right, it'd be nice to know if there's red deer up this way, wouldn't it? I would, I don't know. I don't know, mate. Nice woodland uh, trail, on it? Bearing in mind, mate, this is what we need to be thinking about as well. Do you know when we'll come out with my Land Rovers in the winter and that? Places like this, just to, you know, do you remember that place, John? Thank you, pal. Right. Hate them cattle grids. Oh, look at that view. Oh, this is beautiful, Gary, isn't it?
when I'm looking at this landscape it looks like red deer country though doesn't it something happening ahead of me mate look at that man beautiful camera's probably not doing it justice has he pulled over for us oh beautiful mate yeah lovely set perfect house that isn't it huh all right yes i camping huts pods pods nice big clock tower on the side of it as well oh yes i that's it glamping pods that's it there that's what we we're just seeing there oh little marbles there kid did you feel them did you not You didn't get any hassle up here, guys. Hey, guys, we could, could definitely come and do it. Uh, a one in a one in the Land Rovers, mate. Yeah, definitely. Sit and chill. Bring a bit of wood up. Do a bit of whittling. Fire at the side. Lovely. Deep cold water and strong currents. No, I don't, I'm not planning on going in there the day. I'm not planning on going in there the day. That must be locked down then, eh? Yeah, yeah. That's beautiful, isn't it? That is beautiful. Right, we've just stopped at the Roundhouse Osprey Lodge up at Loch Doon. It's not a bad view. Grabbed a coffee. Jet boil for the Aero Press. I think I put that in my last video, people. If you like your coffee, buy yourself an Aero Press. Because of the coffee. It's an Aero Press, Gary. <laughs> I keep calling it a Euro Press. But no, lovely. We've just been speaking to a lad who's just passed his test there. He's just been up to the castle, so I think that's what he said to go up to the castle. Have a look up the castle. It's a nice round castle, as somebody said. One is round. Yeah. Got up there, and then we'll head back over. Put it in the sat nav, and away we we'll go. But cracking. You kind of beat this. Love it. Just saying, I reckon we'll get to a Land Rovers down there, Neil Bother. Gun pitch up on the end of there. Not a bad pitch there, Gary. Wouldn't be out of comfort zone, Gary, would we? No. I think I might be in the next day when he comes and opens up, though. What are you doing? Mm. Have a little look around the other way, though. I right, will have a little look and we'll see if there's any pictures right by the, by the lock. Just because we're just assessing places now for our Land Rovers as well. Obviously, once the winter comes in, we're going to be back out in our Land Rovers and uh, doing camping at the side of places like this, you know. Lock Doon. That's what I said to the pin man. And he <laughs> said to us this morning, he says, lads, get yourself out of that Lock Doon. I said, are you not in Lock Doon anymore? <laughs> and he looked at us funny, he went. I went, no, you're in Lock Doon. You went, no, I'm in oh. Lock Ken. He went, I'm in Lock Ken first, didn't Why? he? You didn't know you're in Lock Doon, haven't you? It's got them still in Lock Doon. You're in Lock Doon. Come to a place like this, and this is what you're up against. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Absolutely nine, crazy. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 score marks. Crazy, that, isn't it? In the space of. Why do it? 20 metres circular. And you've got to, you've got to see that ground there with all the stones on. There. Why didn't they just have a fire on there? Why do that? Why burn all the grass? Crazy. Look at that, man. They're all over. Crazy. In a beautiful location like this. Never mind. Here's a little rant. But it does annoy you, though, doesn't it? When we 
go out and you have you take a fire pit where you're on a motorbike and take a little fire pit so you're not leaving the scorch marks I don't get uh, why people do that right that's us heading over to this castle that they've talked about we just called in to see the fella there uh, to get some water and what a lovely fella um, sat and told us about the ospreys that live here they've just buggered off um, back to Africa but they bred three chicks and um, they come back every Easter uh, they come back for Easter land and then breed some more really successful breeding partnership they've got going he said keep coming back every single year um, but now he was a lovely fella give us some water for my coffee and that because obviously we bring our own coffee and that and, um, and uh, sorry Gary's talking was in the microphone it distracted us um, so yeah if ever you're up here call in there and go in or go on his Facebook page he's got a Facebook page um, so it's the Osprey Centre at Loch Doon um, cheers pal um, it's the Osprey Centre at Loch Doon and I think they do live live broadcasts on there when they come back you know just something interesting if you're into that kind of thing I know me and Gaz or anything to do with wildlife or out like that anyway I'm going to crack on up to this castle No overnight caravan parking. You know, I thought Scotland had the right to roam. Crazy. They just seem to not want you to be parking anywhere. Don't get that. Because we just spoke to a council bloke. Obviously, we had a bit of trouble last night with, not trouble, but he just come down with the wrong attitude. Um, some ranger. And then we spoke to the council bloke who was emptying the bins. And he says the council are encouraging, um, they're encouraging the wild camping. So I don't, I don't get it. I think it's just people putting up no overnight parking here. I think it's the locals don't want it for some reason. But I do know there's a lot of idiots as well, so who don't respect where they are and don't take the rubbish away. But it spoils it for the likes of me and Gary and all the rest of the people who enjoy wild camping who do respect it. And it's just a bit of a nightmare because you don't want confrontation you just want to come and enjoy what we've got you know and up here it's beautiful i mean look at this to come and live somewhere like this yes please yes please What a lovely part of the world, Gary. Unbelievable. Shoot, I mean, this locks a kind of old size, isn't it? No, I wouldn't like to backstroke it either. Tell you what, when you've got your heated grips on and you've got your heated seat on, oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. And I've got a jacket that you that you plug in, and that keeps you warm as well. I haven't got that on with us; it's not cold enough for that yet. Um, so I've got that to put on as well. So really, you could ride as long as there's not snow on the ground and ice. You can ride all year through, really. Um, that's what we bought these for anyway that's a little island there Gary we met a lad who just passed his test at the the cafe there but I wouldn't he, come, he comes up here for a ride out but to be fair he was on a, a city up Yamaha 700 um, wasn't like an adventure bike or anything I don't think these are the roads to learn on he says I'm a bit nervous 
you want to get on the on the B roads at least, you know, get out and get it leaned over. Get his confidence up because he said his confidence is lacking. Yeah, but these roads I wouldn't have said to come and practice round here. These are not good roads. Oh like that you see. Didn't I like that you see flying. Oh, Abs you see him guys. Hey, man. That was mental lot. Just as I was speaking about that lad as well. Absolutely. <sighs> Sorry for the language. But I got that on video. Nearly got splattered there. Bloody hell. Whoa. I, I, I did mate. I was expecting my side panniers to come off there to be fair. Eh? She did. Was it a woman was it? Oh, let's have a little stop here, Gary. Yep, we'll spin them like that. I was just saying on the bloody microphone as well, on the video, sorry. Bloody idiot. Anyway. Woo! Oh. I just bumped into a couple of young lads there from Manchester. They're in here. Um, stopped off at this little castle, Loch Doon Castle. It's a circular castle, apparently. So we're going to go in and have a little look. Lovely. But that was hairy. He he was following us in the car, and he said it's a good job it wasn't us coming around that corner because she would have had us. Like, definitely would have had a, had them in the little. Uh, Hairdresser's car were there, the little Audi TT. <laughs> well, it was sketchy like it. Wasn't it? It was definitely sketchy. <laughs> Here's the lads from Manchester, say hello. hello Gotta be hello. famous on YouTube, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's canny, I can actually get into it, guys. Place for Damien to come and check out. Lock. Lock Dune, Dune Castle, Castle Damien. Yeah. Well, that's... Wow. Lock Dune Castle. But nice to look up this and see what, what was here, mate. Eh? Yeah. This is the ideal for Damien to come and have a look then, because he normally does a bit of geography, sorry, history on the place. And then he uh, does a little spiel, what makes his video so interesting. That's not a bad little view out your window, is it? That's where my accident nearly happened, just, just back there. The Scottish flag on that uh, little island. Class. Right, that's Loch Doon done. Uh, it's Loch Cairn, Loch Doon, and now I'm just following Gary. He doesn't want to go home yet, he wants to come and enjoy more of these roads, so... Sit back and I'll play some music and I'll uh, enjoy this uh, little ride out. Seeing them, mate. Give them the big flash, guys. That sensor on the top. We're just winging this little journey here because we're we're heading up the air, but we want to head up back over to the east. So we just took a took a right to Drogan, I think it said. So <laughs> we're just heading over that way. Um, starting to head back home now. So if the video goes off, that'll be the end of my video. But I'll keep on letting it play and putting a bit of music over the ride and I hope you enjoy it and if you did enjoy this video why not give it a like and a share eh? might as well uh, get it plugged in a few places be nice does me a favour <laughs> 